Climate disasters affect millions of people around the world every year. Intense flooding, global warming and rising sea levels have forced many people to migrate in search for stability. In 2022, Pakistan witnessed intense flooding that left about 7 to 8 million people displaced from their homes and millions of people in need of humanitarian aid. So this alarming increase in the number of displaced people calls for immediate attention. It is not wrong to call climate change a threat multiplier as it deepens the social, political and economic tensions in the affected areas. However, the impact of climate change is much more severe among women as they are more vulnerable to the effects of climate change than men, primarily because they constitute majority of the world's poorest. Therefore, it is crucial to view climate crises through a gendered lens. In response to climate change, migration is one of the adaptation strategies. The Institute of Economics and Peace predicts that by 2050, there will be 1.2 million environmental migrants due to natural disasters and other ecological threats. So this climate change induced migration disproportionately affects women as their ability to adapt to crisis-stricken settlements is completely inherent in socio-cultural gender norms. This difference stems from the different roles and responsibilities of males and females. Mostly, men from the family migrate and women are left behind. This is because of cultural and social restrictions on the mobility of women, which makes them more vulnerable to environmental hazards. But those women who do migrate to shelter and relief camps initially face lack of healthcare facilities, reproductive care and gender specific physical spaces and poor sanitary conditions. This makes them susceptible to waterborne diseases and an easy target of exploitation and gender based violence. Another important term, climate refugee, is widely used for those people who have been forced to leave their traditional habitat due to environmental disruption that jeopardized their existence or seriously affected the quality of their life. This term does not imply legal protection of refugees under 1951 Refugee Convention. Those migrants who are compelled to use illegal channels are more vulnerable to human trafficking for prostitution and begging as in case of women and children, and intense bonded labor and slavery as in case of men. As climate crisis intensifies around the world, it is high time to address the issues of environmental migrants and ensure legal recognition and protection of climate refugees. It is crucial to promote awareness of gender roles and inequalities of climate migration and devise necessary gender-sensitive strategies and policies to respond to climate-induced migration.